that part. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> and sure. So if you can send me some exercise, it will be great, please. Definitely. No, you're going to... I have confidence that you're going to smash uh, TOEIC, you know, because it's so easy for, for you. Uh, TOEIC is very dedicated to... What's the name of this? Uh, uh, corporate speech. Oh, yes, but they say that they, this is going to be only in writing and uh -huh. listening part. Exactly, exactly. Let, let's say that they play, um, I'm familiar to the example, they play, let's say, recordings of a meeting. And then you need uh -huh. to say, uh, what, did the, the, what did the manager uh, ask the, the supplier? Okay. You know, uh -huh. it's very interesting. It's very interesting. And then after that, it uh, the the writing part is uh, the, our emails, our notices, our uh, it's pretty interesting. The, the toy case is very corporative, so it's, it's oh, gonna be okay, easy for you. You know, you're perfect. gonna smash it. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Good beginning. And what about Chucho? Would you like a certification? Yes, I need it because. I discovered that in my school, I have a great opportunity to travel to a USA university. Oh, definitely good. Oh, yes, for three weeks or four weeks. Okay. Oh, yes. Yes. And they ask for a certification, right? Yes, the TOEFL. Uh -huh. yes. TOEFL. TOEFL, exactly. TOEFL, exactly. If, if you're going to study, it's TOEFL. Uh -huh. Definitely. TOEFL. Uh, the, the TOEFL exam is very similar to what we are doing here. So <laughs> that, that definitely is, is uh, we, you are getting ready without noticing. So let's practice that. Very, very good. I'm very interested to see what, uh, very interested to see your results. Rail, uh, this is the, the, the activity that we did in a nutshell, the, the whole yesterday activity. But now we are going to go to some grammatical review and getting the chance that Chuchu is here, that's great because we're gonna do something relevant today, okay? There is a fact for today's class. I want to show you some facts about English and precisely now that we are talking about translation and literal speech, there are some mistakes that we commit when we think from Spanish to English. Okay, one of the most natural mistakes is when we translate the following sentence. Let's say, how would you translate this? El primer ministro de Gran Bretaña. This idea, this information is pretty fresh in my mind because yesterday I was watching a, a documentary about, about a great, great Britain economy. Pretty interesting what is happening. It's a great crisis and it's very interesting. But, but the, the thing is here, how would you translate this sentence into English? Give me ideas. Uh, the British Prime Minister was declared. The British Prime Minister was declared. The the new the new uh, the new economic uh, political politic the new economic politic. Uh, in order to 
in order to new uh, ready coin. In order, no, in order, in order to new, 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 yeah, new Brexit coin or I don't know, no, ah, new, yeah, new. Ah, okay, okay, okay. In order to new Brexit. Hmm. Agreement? Uh, no agreement, not because it. <laughs> In, ah, in acuerdo, in, in, in acuerdo con Brits. No, in order. It's in order because okay. it's not an agreement. It's not, it's not an, an agreement. agreement. Yeah. Okay. No. So we can say in order to new Brexit. Uh, Brexit. Brexit. That's uh, it. Because there's no, nothing here. Okay. Right. So exactly where do you collocate separatists? In what position? Split. Ah, uh, let me check. Uh, the new economic politic in the order to new Brexit, Brexit split economy. Okay, that can be. But split. then we eliminate this one. The new politic. The, yeah, the new politic in order okay. to new Brexit split politic. Okay. okay. Politic again. Yeah. Okay. Let's call it like that. Well, okay, Brexit. So you say the Brexit separatist, right? Yeah. Okay. So talking about that, there are one or two, a couple of, of uh, observations that we need to do here and let's start with before getting to vocabulary let's start um, with with the structure which is the time of the verb if you are talking about things that happened recently we use a, a specific uh structure for things that have happened recently you know who wants to help us guys what's the structure that we use we are talking about uh, recent thing excellent very good talking about recent stuff we need to use structure number where is it it is actually routines number six Experiences in your life, slash unfinished activities, slash recent past. Mm -hmm. So precisely in the news, you are going to see a lot the following structure. Have plus past participle. In this idea, we have was declared. That is incorrect, right? What correction would you make? Pero? Uh, maybe is had excellent had declared yeah. and you are close i have you have but the british prime minister uh, the british prime minister has have. exactly has. eliminate half and the word is has uh, Fernando, i had a i had a point um mm -hmm. i suppose the fact was in the past not even the process mm -hmm. uh, for me it's not start the past and continue in the present no yeah, precisely because but it's this only is... declaration it's only the end the, the fact ended precisely no? but the the structure number six is used for three different structures for different applications the one that you are doing the one that you are mentioning is experiences in my life I have been a teacher for 10 years. I continue being a teacher. Mm -hmm. But what if you think about recent past? If you talk about recent past, you are not talking about things. Oh, recent that, past. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I agree. So uh, you are going to read a lot of this structure 
every time you are told, you are reading the news and you are watching the news and documentaries, etc., we use this structure like this. Has it clear? Right. So in this case, we needed structure six. No, I will pass you this okay. document later. Yeah. Now, talking about observation number two, everybody try to help me with vocabulary. Okay. This is a topic that we have seen a lot, and we are going to use a lot of uh, complex nouns here. Okay. A complex noun is a noun that has a lot of words with it. For example, British Prime Minister. Actually, with capital letters, because this is an official spot B. and also. Yeah, of course, the B, the letter B. Yeah. Exactly. Right? This is an example of a complex noun, British Prime Minister, right? The same thing we have to do with things like this. Un comienzo nuevo, right? E, and la economía separatista. Right? These are words that we need to adapt to English. And one of the first transitions that we face because words are on the opposite side. In this case, for example, the word number one, politic, doesn't match because politic is a description, right? It exists, but we are not using politics. Probably policy. Mm, policy, mm -hmm. yeah, of course. That's vocabulary issue, no? Yeah. But anyway, Any policy, policy yeah. doesn't match the sentence. How would you say? Un nuevo comienzo. A new beginning. Excellent. Ah, mm. Instead of the, transition to a. Instead of the, to a. a new beginning. Instead okay. of new, we have it here, and beginning. Exactly. Right? Next. In la economía separatista, how would you say this? In the separatist economy. Excellent, which is another transition in the separatist economy, right? How do you translate en acuerdo con o de acuerdo a? According with. Excellent, according with, very good. And then we have the last word that we have here, Brexit. So, um, exactly in this order, these are abilities that we check according to the level. The first correction that I did, and I went directly to the, to the verb, was because correcting the verb is a B1 ability. It's very interesting. Uh, what happened with my B1? Fernando, please explain yes. me. Why do you, did you say B1 in a specific? Precisely because the ability for, for verbs or correcting the time of the verb is a B1 ability. Okay. That's when, okay. That's when uh, the, let's say that universality, the assessment of English goes through, through the easiest, uh, the most simple corrections to the most complex, right? The most simple okay. corrections go for, from A1 to B1. And the most complex corrections go from B2 okay. to precisely C1 and C2, okay. right? Okay. The verbs are exactly in this category. And another ability for B1 is complex nouns. Locating the, the adjectives in the, in the right position, right, etc. Okay, great. We're talking about B2, and this is an ability for you guys. Talking about B2, we have number one, the vocabulary. Uh, politics because an economy 
this is not an easy topic. You know? So number one, vocabulary, no? Number two, <laughs> uh, what happened with number two? Has declared beginning. Oh yeah, Spanish translations. And words that don't exist in our mother language, which is in this case, Spanish again. This is a B2 ability. And that's why, that's why I, I, uh, I contrast this with this, you see? And one of the things that we are going to check precisely today is the usage of the. This is something that probably we didn't see when we were checking the mistakes in this, in this uh, translation. But this is something that everybody does. Everybody does this particular mistake. Why is it not correct to use the, in this case, if you have the article in Spanish? Because it's just one British prime minister. <laughs> yeah, precisely. Uh -huh. and, and that's that's a very good uh, uh, comment. But then you see other things like the sun. There is only one sun, but we say the sun. Or the moon. You know, there's only one moon, but you, we say the moon. So then it's like, okay, why is not correct? You know, <laughs> this, part, this particular topic is so confusing. It's honestly super confusing. And that's, that's the reason, that's the reason we are here. In this case, we are not going to use that because there is a certain set of rules that exist in the language. Oh. Let me go oh. through articles. Let me open the open the rules. Watch this. Okay, sometimes we don't use that, right? This is going to be considered a review for many of you, but it is interesting to see a lot of times, like as, as much as you can, because this is an B2 ability that I taught you in the previous level, and it's not that easy, you know? The thing about this particular, this particular use is that the president or the prime minister or any sort of position goes along with rule number five. This is the one. Please observe rule number five and tell me what you notice. Okay. When you have the profession of the person before the name I of the person, that. you remember that, right? Yeah. Yeah. Of <laughs> course. Yeah, this is a classic topic here. And you have this example over here. Are you taking notes, guys? So let's say, please read a, Tony, help me with this. Okay, rule five, profession, title, multiple adjectives plus name. Mm -hmm. Dr. Robertson will see you now. You never talk like that to Josh Durbin. The elections have favorite Republican candidate Donald Trump. 
Will you call Engineer Johnson to my office? Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Notice the people. Notice the name of people here. All right? If we think about all these examples in Spanish, all of them need the article. You see? This is one of the, of the things about being A2. No, sorry, B2. Is the ability to notice when you are not using the English production. You see? You can see evidence of that in the example that we have here. Right? Look at the... Look at this thing. This is really kind of... Mexico's president Andres Manuel López Obrador inaugurated a new airport serving Mexico City in a hallmark move more than three years after he scrapped a separate partly built multi-billion dollar construction project by the previous government that he said was a symbol of corruption. Oh yes, my sweet, sweet president. It is over there. Mexico's president, Andrés Manuel López Obrador, not the Mexico's president. Even if we need it in Spanish, we don't need it see here. So translating, translating is interesting when you are doing it from Spanish to English. That's a good ability, right? Passing from, from English to Spanish will make you forget these details uh -huh. if all the information that you read you start thinking it in spanish you automatically will omit very important information like this so the idea is to check little information in order to analyze what's going on the article that is one of the examples that I really wanted to, to show you, okay? Now, you are familiar with this. Yes, uh, uh, Vero said that she's familiar and Connie said that one of the rules actually that you mentioned, Connie, exists when there is only one thing uh, among a group, we don't use, or we use that, no? So what rules do you remember about the utilization of that? Anyone? I only remember. I only remember this. Only this one? Yes. Okay, okay. Well, no, that's good. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. This is a good, uh, a good example because precisely you read a lot of news. No? Okay, no problem. There is one that goes through things in general. And this is rule number one. Okay, it says over there, you don't need the article when you talk about things in general, rules, laws, and facts. This particular uh, rule goes along with Uncountable nouns, right? Countable and uncountable nouns. Let's say that you are going to describe, for example, a, um, your favorite food. What's your favorite food, Chucho? Uh, sorry, uh, tacos. Yes, tacos. Excellent. Give me, give me your opinion about tacos tacos are a very delicious food because mm -hmm. um it have i have you they, have it they they no it are uh, they okay 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 they uh -huh. have they have uh delicious smell oh, when yeah. you are eating i am i am hungry 
and there are a lot of types of this. Yeah, <laughs> excellent, excellent. That's one of the thing. Now, what are your favorite ones? Uh, carnitas tacos. Yes. Carnitas tacos. What's better? What's in, in what points are carnitas tacos superior to barbacoa tacos? Carnitas tacos has a specific, um, you know, um, I don't know this word, the smell and savor. No, it's not savor. Oh, uh, uh, taste. Taste, exactly. Uh -huh. Interesting. Carnitas tacos have a specific, specific taste. Yes. Okay. Okay. Well, I don't know if you noticed, man, but. You never, you didn't commit the mistakes that I wanted you to commit. Congratulations. Very good. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We are talking about Carnitas Tacos in general, so it's not necessary to use that. And all your opinions and all the things that you can tell me about your favorite food, that's one example when we start, like, translating incorrectly. So, very good, Chucha. Very, very good. Other thing, talking about nationalities, talking about uncountable things, for example, music, right? I, many people say, I, I enjoy to listen to uh, the jazz music. Uh-oh. Or I like to listen to the jazz, which is worse because jazz is a name. Right? And that's a very, very common mistake that we need to omit. Got it? Who can give me an example of things in general? Let's say it's good morning. Hallelujah, you can give me an example. Are you there? Yes. Perfect. Hello. <laughs> Tell me what is, give me an example of something you what would be what would be a good idea tell me something about a fact yeah a curious fact about dogs that you have learned recently a curious fact about dogs that you have learned <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you told me the other day that um, uh, you you or we yeah. we should not. Um, I don't know how it is to go. You should not yell. Yell. Oh, yes. Our dog mm -hmm. uh, with its name. Excellent. Very good. Why not? Because they associate it with a bad thing and it's her or its name so it's not so good 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 idea. okay but we are not using nouns no mm. what what shouldn't a dog eat what what should what shouldn't a dog eat Dogs doesn't eat chocolate. This? Mm -hmm. What else? Oh my. Dogs doesn't eat chocolate. Watch out. I don't. The, it doesn't, but dogs in general. Plural? Oh, okay. Dogs 
don't exactly eat um, chocolate um you know bones of chicken and bones of chicken sure exactly that's right these are two examples you, similar to Chucho, you you say it very well you don't need to use that mm -hmm. bones of chicken eggs chocolate all this stuff grammatically are nouns and they translate differently in spanish mm -hmm. good 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 now going to rule number two it says as follows we don't use that when we are talking about watch out eh single lakes single states cities towns and continents i think cities towns and continents are easier but when we are talking about lakes states and mountains it becomes tricky okay please read this slide eh, better sorry we cannot hear you you have your microphone on Sorry, yeah. sorry, yeah. sorry. Excellent. Articles are not used before countries, single states, cities, towns, continents, single lake, or single mountain. Continue, continue. Okay, uh, I live in Canada. Um, yes, Rosa is part of the Alps mountain range. I'm All right, watch out. What is this? I don't know. Okay, I okay. don't know, I don't know. I'm going to Europe next month on vacation. Wait, 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 wait. No, oh. no problem. I can teach you. Okay. That's why we are here. <laughs> okay. If you don't know, you can ask. <laughs> okay. All right. Check it out. Check it out. Transition. Mount. Mount. When we are talking, mount is a verb. No, no, no. I'm talking about the mount. Mount is a noun. Is uh, like a small mountain and it's very common to abbreviate with empty of course of course okay so we have mount kilimanjaro wow. you know in this case is mount mount rose, rose. it's part of the alps mountains range Perfect. i'm go i'm going to europe next month on vacation lake ontario and lake huron are two of the great lakes the Great Lakes are a group of lakes on the border between Canada and the U.S. Mount and the what? And the U.S. US. That's okay. when, what is the abbreviation for United States? Uh, the, okay, the United States. Abbreviation? Um, How abbreviation. do you the abbreviation? Uh, the U.S. Excellent. The yeah, US. The US. That's a classic. <laughs> yeah. Uh, mountain. Tuki is the highest mountain in Japan. Mm -hmm. The Netherlands, the United States, the Philippines, etc. Excellent. Very good. United, eh? Francis. Yeah. The United States. Good. Good, good, good. Okay. Now, there is, there is a very interesting group of examples here because, as you can see, sometimes we use that and sometimes we don't use it. If we think in Spanish, some of them will include an article that we don't have in, in English here. Okay. Let's take the second example. The first one is easy. I live in Canada. I mean, it's impossible to, to yeah. allocate an article in a name, no? But the second one is a little bit more tricky. Yeah. Mount Rosa is part of the Alps mountains range. So we are talking about a mountain, mountain, mount, or lake, we don't need an article like in Spanish. How would you say this in Spanish? La montaña. Complete, complete. The La sentence. montaña. Ah, uh, okay. La, mon La montaña. La montaña rosa es parte de los Alpes, del, del, del grupo de los, ay, no sé, del grupo de montañas en los Alpes. De la... Mountain range is in Spanish, Cordillera. 
Um. <laughs> right? But anyway, the important thing is that you said la montaña and los Alpes, right? Why is it necessary the use of the in the second? According to the rule, is because this is plural. Okay, the name of the place is plural. So what type of names are plural? The Alps, the Great Lakes, um, if you say Sierra Madre Occidental, you need to say the Sierra Madre Occidental mountain range complete. The Sierra Madre Occidental mountain range. This is the name of the Mexican mountain ranges. You see? Um, what else? Because the last example. Yes, Richard. It's simply that in a mountain range are a lot of mount mountains. Correct. Uh -huh. Well, kind of implicit and explicit, eh? because you, you need to say mountain range. That's obligatory. Okay. Yes. Uh -huh. The name here, this one is necessary to say. Yes. You see? The United States always needs the article that. This is very interesting because in Spanish, it's different. You don't say... People don't say, me voy a los Estados Unidos. Right? People only say, me voy a Estados Unidos. Mm -hmm. Because it's the name of the country, no? Mm -hmm. Surprise, surprise. In English, the name is plural. States. So, the article is mandatory when you are talking about U.S., the U.S., you see? So the, I, I'm telling you this information because even I have mistakes sometimes with this. You know, there's a lot, a lot of translation going on here. Any question about this rule number two? No, so for sure. Okay. Yes. Tell me. Hmm, Kani, where would you like to travel someday? I would like to travel to Brazil uh, maybe in two years. Interesting. And why Brazil? Because I have a friend there. Cool. <laughs> and I work with Brazil at uh, Didi. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I and that. I really like the people from there. They are so nice. Interesting. What um how what kind of the of the uh of things would you like to do there? I would like to visit the famous sites mm -hmm. or maybe a museum. Okay. And maybe going to some party. They say that the party are so fun there. <laughs> Oh, okay, repeat that. They say that Paris. Exactly. <laughs> are, fun, yes. are so fun there. Are so fun there, rule number one. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the parties are, are great in Brazil. Well, Brazilian people are very, very joyful, similar to here. Yes, that's right. Okay, what country would you wouldn't like to go? Uh, hmm. I wouldn't like to go to maybe India. India is ah, okay. <laughs> India, in, in, India is considered a country, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, just because I don't understand the language. Mm -hmm. And when I saw movies, I felt that um, many places are dirty. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I don't feel comfortable in that kind of places. Okay, that's it. Well, then we, there, there was no mistake in the second part. Congratulations. You have everything where you got. Yeah.
Mm -hmm. All right. So that's that's the interesting thing about about this this topic. You know, places. What city have you been to the United States, Vero? Um, in my case, yes. Good. Tell me about your visit, your last visit. Well, uh, in fact, I I studied in the university uh, in the in the in the uni in the United States oh. for almost six months in Illinois in Chicago. Wow, super nice! Yeah, and, and, and that was a university, or what was that? Yeah, in fact, I I had a like a diplomado, but um, watch out, diplomado is a is a Spanish. Uh, it's postgraduate a... postgraduate diploma. Diploma. Exactly. Yeah. Postgraduate diploma. <laughs> yeah, uh, for almost six months. Wow, super nice. Yeah, and um, in fact, it's my unique experience in the United States. Okay. Okay. Very good. Uh, where? Sorry. Where? Uh-huh. Where you only or experience where? Where? Where um I study no, no, no. again, oh. again, again. You repeat okay. what you said. Uh, that's my only experience where? Okay. I develop my experience. Oh, oh, oh. I, I don't understand you, Fernando, no, but mean, let me I mean... tell you. I have studied it. I had a study in the university. Mm -hmm. In Macomb. Good. Good. Macomb good. is a small town in Chicago, Illinois. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, that's that's why that's what you said, uh, Chicago, Illinois. But uh, but 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 um, I'm asking about the country. What country did you mention? Uh, Chicago. Country. Country. Ah, okay. Country. Uh, the unit, not United State. Francis. The United State. Okay, let's check the pronunciation here. Okay. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Over here. Uh -huh. okay. I know, I know. Can you see the symbols? Unitate. Unitate. Once again, the second Unitate. syllable. Second Unitate. syllable. Nine. Second syllable. Okay. United. United. Exactly. United. 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 That's correct. Exactly. United yes. States. Okay. The United, United States. The United States. Okay. Excellent. Very good. These symbols are super effective to learn. You know, I, I think you are familiar with this, aren't you? Uh, not. Great, that's perfect. Sort of I'm, that's going to be your first homework. I have a, a class dedicated with these symbols. It's great. And precisely, the thing, the thing that can help your listening is phonetics. If you see the phonetics, you will pronounce better and then you will understand better because you pronounce better. That's very nice. Okay, and the reason the reason I am asking this information is precisely because I want to I want you to explore a speech, trying to check if you use that or not. You know, let's say you have another example. Where would you like to travel? You better. I'm sorry. Can you repeat? Yes, of course. I I need I need to review first because I try to speak a lot of, uh, so fast. But in this case, I want to first of all analyze your your question. So oh, of course. Yeah, repeat? no. Yeah, mm -hmm. please. So, where would you like to travel? When? Where do where? I? Where? Where? <laughs> where would you like to travel? Well, um, when I have when I have the opportunity, I would I would uh, visit 
uh, different beach in Mexico. In Mexico, different, example, different, 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 different beach. Beach is one plural. The different beach in Mexico. Plural for beach. One beach. Beach. Excellent. Beaches. So okay. Different. Yeah. Uh, different beaches in Mexico. Excellent. Like in Merida, uh, I really enjoy to visit um, uh, Cizal. Good. Cizal is, or in fact, Pro Progreso is another beach oh, yes. in, mm -hmm. in Merida, Yucatan. And uh, what else? Maybe uh, uh, I, I prefer different, uh, different uh, cities. Yeah. Like, um, like, um, Ixtapas y Guatanejo. Yes, a beautiful yeah. place. Uh -huh. And uh, it's all. Okay, no mistakes. Very good. You got it. You got it now. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. That, you, you see the difference? The, 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 yeah, the sensation when we are speaking really fast is kind of different than if you like listen and check structure the building of the sentence etc yeah i oh, need you. yeah very good no yes you're doing well you're doing well mm -hmm. very good it's what what are the most Beautiful places you have visited. Yeah. Oh, in this case, goes with it's a. Yeah. In countries. Places you have visited. Mm. I can travel a lot, but I think Cancun could be. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or uh, an island, Maiden or an island. Oh, interesting. A beach in Huatulco. Oh, good. A Persian beach in Huatulco. So many years ago. Okay, what can you tell me about, about these places? Well, I like, I like the beach. And, and I like, yes, the beach in general. I think mm -hmm. I like to be in front of the sea um, and, and maybe that's why I, I like it a lot. Even that's very nice. It doesn't matter where. <laughs> But it's in front of the beach. My okay. Okay then. Talking about places, I need to. I I I want to. I want you to use this this structure. So let me ask you another question. Okay. What um. <laughs> tell me about. <laughs> but you say you don't travel a lot, right? No. That's tricky. So you're you're not going to need this anywhere. Mm -hmm. Tell me, tell me about differences between the United States and Mexico. What what kind of of differences are there between our countries? Mm -hmm. I suppose culture mm -hmm. um, yes culture mm -hmm. obviously the language of course of course mm -hmm. um, the way that we we act 
-hmm. or do the things mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. between between us i think good know. elaborate the part of the culture yeah yeah the education again the education the education well it can be a particular well, education no yeah that's right that's right the education uh -huh. yes um i don't know and that's pretty much it okay yeah it's... but elaborate the part of the of the culture mm -hmm. they La are more uh, hmm. Hmm. no i don't know we are maybe maybe we are more hmm. Hmm. i don't know they were We are more closer uh -huh. with our family. Good. Um, least lazy. I'm lazy. <laughs> I don't think so. I think they are. Um, in 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 a, in the in the part that we have to live with our parents until we have, I don't know, something short to live. And they, um, they looking for that very young. Looking, that's in they look moment. for that. For, okay. So they look for that very young. Um, they are they separate or no? They apart to their parents. No, they easily. they don't apart. Apart is not a perfect. Uh, huh? The verb is apart is not a verb. Ah. The word is they 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 leave home. That's the uh, word. Mm -hmm. They leave home very young. Uh -huh. <clears throat> mm. And that's it. And that's I it. Think. Fantastic. Very good. All right. Well, yeah. That talking about places is difficult because it's it's not something that you talk. A lot about but no. you got it mm -hmm. just try to do that if if you're talking about the united states use that that's a tip a personal tip for you yep got it there are exceptions though this particular rule has an exception you can see this exception on the note the word here There is an exception to every rule in English, but when you are talking about the Czech Republic, it's a singular place, but you need to use that. Why? Because hashtag English, there's no reason. Only for the Czech Republic. Probably it's because we are talking about Republic, which is not the name of a country. But yeah, it's singular. So, singular places don't need that except for this one. And at the end, we have the USSR, which is, it was the name of, of uh, Russia before the fall of the Berlin Wall. That's another way, another way to call this country. Okay. Any questions on rule number two? No. Super cool. Very nice. The next one is also very tricky. Eh? Watch out. When we are talking about rule number three, now we have well, rule number three. There are sentences that we commit a mistake a lot places that are not names of countries. 
such as home, jail, names of streets, bed, and school, except university. For some reason, we don't use the article with these specific words. It's a specific list that exists here. School, work, church, jail, and bed. Okay, that plus names of streets. So let's read these three examples. Help me, Connie. Place, location, names, or streets, avenues, boulevards. Sorry, again, place is one, but plural? Places. Much better. Places, location, names, or streets, avenues, boulevards. I left my book at home. He was found guilty or murdered and sent to jail for life. Mm -hmm. My office is located on Main Street. Good night, everyone. I'm going to bed. When I was in high in high school, everyone has had to study French. Good. Good. Let's let's stop over there. We have at home to jail on Main Street to bed in high school, right? The same thing that when you say school. The reason of this is that we are, let's say, using these places as locations, locations in the map. So let's say that the office, for example, if you open Google Maps, Google Maps is going to, you can, you can set to a specific uh, locations on Google Maps. Have you used this app? Yes. Right? What are the two locations that they, that the application give you? Like your main locations. I don't understand the question. You know, the app gives uh, an option. Oh, just fast home and work. Exactly. Uh -huh. They give you the option to collocate home and to collocate work. Right? Where is the office and where is uh, your house? Usually, this is information that the application uses for your daily commun commission. So you move to the office and you move back to, to your home, etc. Right? This is one of example of cultural, uh, cultural use of language. These two particular places are not considered buildings. They are considered locations. And that's the reason you cannot say at my home, because you cannot possess a location. Listen to this, eh? You cannot possess a location. You don't say, I drink, uh, I, I drink uh, or I pass to my Starbucks. You don't have a Starbucks. And also, if there's a Starbucks near your house, that is not your location. It's just that it's around your place. The same thing with home. You don't go to your home, you go to your house. So yes, I go to the house, to my house, but I never go to my home. Do you get what I'm saying? Yes. No, 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 I have um I have more information. I didn't I didn't get. Okay, perfect. You need, no? You, you... Yeah, 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 yeah. So let's say home. Tell me, let, let me let me start speaking and I will tell you why, if you are correct or not. Okay, let's say, what's your daily commute? Do you know what is commute? Oh, double M. Commute to travel regularly by bus, train, car between your place of work and your home. Tell me, Vero, 
What's your daily commute? I go to my job by mm -hmm. car. You go to your job by car. Perfect. Um, at what time? Um, okay, I go. I I go to I go to my work by car every morning at eight a.m. Good. At what time do you uh, do you have to leave home in order to arrive? On time. I I leave my I leave my my house at uh, uh, eight a.m. and I arrive to my job at uh, a ten past eight. Perfect. So you're you're pretty near, aren't you? Yeah. Good. Um. Do you like working at home? Yes, I really enjoy work at in my in my. Uh, let me check. Uh -huh. Yes, I really <laughs> enjoy work at my home because at because I I I I can eat all the time. I can hear English class. I can. Oh, great. I can I can hear my the English news. Oh, uh, good. In a lot of mm -hmm. in a lot of things, you know. Okay, so let me tell you some observation over there. Yes. In my home, is my not... house. In exactly. my house, in because my house. home is a location. Precisely. There yeah. You have okay. It. <laughs> it's very interesting that in the in the dictionary, you have your home you know in this particular case it is necessary to use your because you are speaking about a uh, you know we don't have a person in particular this is a dictionary so the dictionary is talking about you you know it can be you at or you connie or you would say like it doesn't really it's for everybody but when you are talking about your personal thing your personal places home and work don't need neither the possessive nor the article. Never. So let's say, oh, I forgot my cell phone. I forgot my cell phone at home. Excellent. And if it's at the office, Connie? At the office? Eliminate the office, say the word work. At office. At work? At, at work. <laughs> Not the work. You see what I mean? Just. That's a mistake that we commit in Spanish. <laughs> at the office is correct, eh? The office is correct because office is a, a specific office, the office. But work, only one. Probably this is going to change in the future because now many people have more than one job. Some people do double shift, no? So probably in the future, this is going to be technically a different thing or it's gonna be a cultural uh, speech that will be necessary to say, but, but by culture, we don't use it. Mm -hmm. We usually commit a mistake to use the or the possessive, my. Mm -hmm. So let's say the word bed is a classic one. Let's say that you feel sick. After you go to the doctor, where do you go if you feel sick? After you go to the doctor, where do you go? 
At bed. Kinda. At your clothes. Eliminate at. The connector for lo for location is at, yes. But if you go, you have a destination. To bed. To bed. Correct. Right? Tell me, Connie, do you like to watch movies at bed? Sorry, I don't listen to the last part. Do you like to watch movies? And no, it's not at, sorry. Do you like to watch movies in bed? Yes. Yes, why? Because I feel more comfortable. Mm -hmm. Where? Watching movies at bed. In. Bed. Connector in, exactly. Very good. You feel more comfortable watching movies in bed. Yes. That's correct. In the bed? Nah. In my bed? Probably. Can be. But it's normal to use only the word bed. Very different to Spanish, no? Yes, but you can possess the bed, right? Yes, of course. Uh -huh. And that's possible. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's possible. Got it. Thank you. So the interesting thing about this level, guys, is number one, the learning the differences between Spanish and English in order to avoid me, uh, mistakes. And number two, learning words by group. So I recommend that these particular expressions, at home, to jail, to bed, in school, at school, at work, etc. try to learn them by groups, pairs. So you can avoid the utilization of the article when it's not necessary. You got it? Groups of words, okay? That's the mission. So, difficult or easy? I need to review again the basic concept. Great, perfect. Into at. Ah, okay, yes, uh -huh. yeah, we can, we can do that. We can do that. Along, along the way, the questions come out, and then we can, we can solve that without a problem. Yeah. Very good, girls. Well, it's time for work. Get ready. Let's go. And I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. Have a nice day. You too. Have Bye. a nice day. Thank you. See you later, guys. Thank you. Bye. Bye. So, Vero, uh, let yeah. me stop the recording. And.